Hey friend, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. So, hi. Hey friend, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my amazing supporters. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I appreciate y'all. So we are gonna get into it, but before I do, today is Tuesday, October 11th. It's currently 8.58 p.m. And we are back with another collection video, with another organizing video. I know y'all I love to see like my collections and things like that and for like the last few days let me say like for days I've just been trying to figure out and make like what else do I have that's a collection that I can share with you guys because at this point I was feeling like I'm out of collections I'm like I shared my bag collection with y'all I shared my shoes collection with y'all I shared my perfume collections with y'all what else can I share with y'all that I have as a collection and boom I figured it out so as y'all know I love to read I wasn't always like this I'll tell y'all the truth I was not I was not some Somebody that always liked to read. I actually used to hate reading and the reason why I used to hate reading was um, I think I mentioned this in my videos like before but the reason why I used to hate reading is I never forget like when I was in sixth grade I was on a second grade reading level and um, my sixth grade teacher at the time like she was very negative she wasn't too fond of me and it didn't give me like the confidence to like learn how to read or anything like that um so yeah like I was in sixth grade but I was on a second grade reading level I struggled with reading for a long 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 time and that negative notion of like being in the sixth grade on a second grade reading level it affected me for a really 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 long time and I just didn't like it like the only time I read was when I um um, when I was like in college when I was in school and stuff like that outside of that it would be really hard to get me to read because I don't know I wasn't just I just wasn't confident about reading and then I used to have a lot of stuff on my mind when I read like when I was in college and I was going through a lot I would sometimes have to reread like the same section like three or four times because my mind just wasn't there but as I've gotten older I've come to really really love reading so I'm gonna share with y'all my million dollar book collection and why I say this is my million dollar book collection is because like these books are like really life-changing books they're like self-help books they're are books that are important to like categories areas in my life and they are worth a lot to me because I feel like they've helped me to grow to develop to become the person that I am today a lot of y'all love like my inspirational content a lot of you guys always tell me like you're so inspirational you're so motivational and to be honest a lot of my inspiration a lot of my motivation like it comes from these books that I read so as y'all will see here I have my bookshelf and I'm gonna just share with y'all like my books and stuff and then towards like the end I'm gonna show y'all like how I organize it and stuff like that so we gonna get into it and I'm gonna share these books with y'all if y'all read any of these books drop a comment below if you would like to read any of these books drop a comment below and um I'm gonna actually that's the other thing I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna go through and link them like on Amazon of where you could get them from um that's another thing most of these books either someone has given them to me or I bought them myself so that's how I built this book collection the other thing is um like the people that I surround myself with um or let me say not a mixture of the people that I surround myself with and like the speakers that I listen to like they recommended these books so that's why I just you know took them in read them and they've helped me to become who I am so if you're not a person that reads like try reading and it will really help you I used to only do like audiobooks and stuff but um I don't know I've broken past that and I've come to like really love reading really enjoy reading because with reading you can highlight you can underline you could put sticky notes in and go back so I'm gonna get into it enough of me rambling so the book that I am currently reading is called the 12 week year and this book um, is a book that I'm actually reading with um, some people in a book club I would consider them my business partners I would say and <clears throat> 
Um, one of them, like she's a top realtor, if I'm not mistaken, in Maryland. And she recommended this book to our book club. So we all have been reading it. And this has been super helpful. This has been super like effective. So as y'all can see, I got a lot of sticky notes in there. And this one is called the 12 week year. So it talks about how to get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. So the way y'all have been seeing me like grinding like really hard with my YouTube channel, this is where a part of it comes from. Cause in this book, like the central point it focuses on is like execution, like getting stuff done. Basically like it gets straight to the point of you just getting stuff done. And then it also pushes you to focuses on your measurements, your numbers and things like that. So that you're tracking whatever it is that you're getting done. You're not just getting up and doing stuff. So um, this is the book that I'm currently reading and it has it been has super been duper effective. effective. It, pushes it pushes you to plan. plan. It pushes, it pushes you, you to just face, face your, your, your work, work ethic, if that makes that sense. Like if your numbers aren't doing good, it makes you like, okay, what can I go back to and change? Okay. Like it makes you continuously perform at a higher level so that you could get higher results. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. Like I said, this next book, I mentioned it in my last video, but um, I read this book and I'm like kind of dabbling through it again because some books, like when you read them, like there's just some stuff like when you feel like it molds you and helps you so much in a certain area of your life, you kind of want to reread it again so that you don't forget like the principles, the points and things like that. So this book is called The Self Love Workbook for Women and um, this YouTuber or influencer Aaliyah J. Most of you guys probably know her. If you don't, go look her up. She's really amazing. Um, but yeah, she recommended this book and I ordered it from Amazon. And again, I'm going to say it, it literally changed my life and it helped me to become the woman that I am today. And honestly, it's not just for women. I know it says for women, but man, y'all could use it too. Like seriously, it's very, very helpful. Um, and some of these books, by the way, I wrote like what my biggest takeaways were but um one of the biggest thing i got from this book is just learning to be nicer to myself and learning to be more compassionate to myself if you want, if you want to hear more about what i got out of this book i'm gonna link that video somewhere like in the cards right here and just go check it out it's my video that talks about it's a get ready with me video that talks about self-care self-love and setting boundaries so that's this book for you the other book um that you know I had to pick it back up because I was starting to struggle again it's called get over your damn self and this one is by Rami Neustadat and this book I feel like is perfect for anybody that's trying to become an entrepreneur and you want a breakthrough like in just doing what you're supposed to do as an entrepreneur and this book really helps you to get over your damn self so I know in this book um I wrote down for sure like some of my takeaways so one of the, these are the things that I wrote down that I learned um one it teaches you the importance of talking to people like you have to communicate if you're gonna be a business person if you want to be a business person you have to talk to people but even outside of business if you want to have a good quality of life talking to people is still important whether it's you know if you want to get married you gotta talk to people like you gotta get to know them you know if you want to like um i don't know easily get through life or get through life easier talk to people because people will share their experiences with you that could save you trouble time and heartaches you know so talking to people is one of the biggest things i got away from this book the second thing i got was be willing to do the hard stuff it's hard but you have to do it anyway you know and sometimes it's like us as humans we could shy away from doing the hard stuff but this book teaches you do the hard stuff even if it's hard and number three this is one of my favorite quotes and when I tell y'all this touched me to the core this is one of those books when I was reading them I cried y'all because it just like 
it just spoke so much to me and it changed me it had I had some walls built up in me but it helped me to like bring those walls down like tear down some of those walls and this quote says perfection is the lowest standard a human can have for oneself and it's so true I used to be so obsessed with being perfect with being trying to look this way trying to look that way to other people caring so much about just being perfect and when I read that in this book y'all I cried and I was just so relieved because it was like wow like that makes sense because as human beings we weren't born to be perfect we weren't created to be perfect you know so the thought of being obsessed with being perfect you having a really low standard for yourself because it's impossible for you to be perfect no matter how hard you try no one is perfect and no one will ever be perfect so that that is one of my biggest takeaways that i got from this book and it set me free from being so obsessed with trying to be perfect and trying to look a certain way in other people's eyes fourth thing i took away is understanding that my time is valuable like she talks about how your time is worth a thousand dollars per hour and you have to treat it accordingly and it's true you can't have people wasting your time y'all time is valuable time is money time is precious time is something that you can never get back and that helped me like change the way that i utilize my time you know spend less time talking on the phone spend less time on social media spend less time just wasting time you know your time is valuable do valuable things with your time so that's one of the perspectives that it helped me to change and then number five i have is act in spite of fear if you're scared do it anyway if you're nervous do it anyway like however you feel do it anyway sometimes sometimes you can't get hung up in what you feel because eventually that feeling is going to go away still do it even if you're scared to do it just like with anything like my youtube channel is a perfect example sometimes there's videos that i'm like okay i'm scared to touch on this topic i'm scared to let my supporters in this close to me i'm scared to be this open to be this vulnerable to be this transparent but in spite of me being that scared i still do it anyway so that's my biggest takeaway from this book right here y'all i'm telling you read it it's such a good book one of my mentors recommended it to me she had recommended it to me like it took me a long time to actually pick it up because I ordered it and I never read it because I was scared to read it and then eventually I read it and when I read it it helped y'all so definitely recommend that book and now we will get into my books over here so this pile right here that I left at the front these are books that I have recently um read I think this one's the only one I haven't read yet. I haven't got to read yet, but my auntie gave me this book and she is so funny, y'all. She told me she was at the store. <laughs> this is one of my aunties that visited me from Florida. She said she was at the store, y'all, right? And she saw my name on the book and picked it up. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, but I haven't read the book yet, but I'm still going to read it. That was thoughtful of her to get me the book. Um, this one is called Hope of Chaos. It's a really good book. Um, I don't think I wrote down what what I took away from it but I do remember my biggest takeaway from it. And this book, I got it from um, my landlord's mother-in-law if that makes sense yeah my landlord's mother-in-law she came from Jamaica and she stayed with us not with us but she stayed with our landlord and stuff for some time and you know we connected and she was so nice and then she gave me this book so the biggest takeaway I got from this book is that no matter where you are in life you need God that's that was my biggest takeaway from this book so that's why it's called hope in the midst of chaos because basically it talks about in the midst of like chaotic times crazy times god is there to give you hope to help you through whatever it is that you're going through so that's this book here this next book is called the four agreements y'all so i had seen this book going around for a long time like a super long time and i never like paid it no mind i never took an interest in it a lot of um I would say Instagram influencers have talked about this book have posted it and eventually I was like you know what let me try something different and read it um I think one two three I think if I'm not mistaken no I am mistaken but anyways 
I don't remember what I took away from this book, but I know that it's a good book. That's all that I can say. I'm gonna just be transparent. Um, next book, this one is called You Are a Bad Booty at Making Money. So this one, it builds your confidence when it comes to making money. That's the thing I remember. It encourages you to like talk to your boss about a raise. Try different ways to make money, not just you making money through your job. And same thing, it's a self-help book and it helps you, you know, change your state of mind so that's that book and this book along with this one one of my cousins they recommended for me to read this book um because she saw that i was into reading books and she recommended it so i ordered them from amazon and i read both of them this one is also called you are a bad booty how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life so it is exactly what it says it's about it talks about how to stop doubting yourself and just believing in yourself this book here is by Jacqueline Carr. She is a gospel singer. I love this book. This is one of my favorite books. It talk, it's called You Will Win. And she basically, um, like, as a gospel singer, like, my biggest takeaway from it is it taught me that as a Christian, you can still become successful. You can put God first and you can still become successful in life. And I love how she uses like different scriptures um, basically to show how she became successful. So that's this book. I love this book. I definitely recommend it. This book. Oh, before I go um, away, this book, my mama gave me this book. So yeah, this book, my mama also gave me this book but I didn't hear about it from her <laughs> no I'm just kidding but um yeah one of the co-founders in um, a business that I do he used to talk about this book all the time and never read it my mommy bought it for me I read it y'all and changes your life changes your mind changes your perspective the biggest takeaway is that if you're gonna be successful in life if you're gonna become somebody in life you can't be stupid like that's why it's called wisdom and basically it take the book of proverbs from the bible and it breaks down different scriptures and teaches you how to use those scriptures to be successful one of them that i love is it talks about like knowing the state of your flock so in proverbs it talks about knowing the state of your flock i used to think it was talking about like you know if you own animals herds blah 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 no it it explains that it's referring to knowing the state of your situation, your life, your finances, your marriage, everything. Like, you got to be alert and you got to be on guard. See, sometimes, like, for example, somebody might end up getting divorced and they just think it just happened. No, it just it didn't just happen. There were signs, there's, there was things happening and you didn't pay attention. Sometimes somebody might go completely broke and you're like, mm, it just happened overnight. No, it didn't just happen overnight. You weren't paying attention. Something happened. There were signs there and you went from having a lot of money to having no money. So that's this book. I love this book as well. Um, this book is called The Unemployed Millionaire. And this book, y'all, I have this book or my husband bought this book in like 2016 and I ain't read it till last year to be honest I told y'all I wasn't into reading books like that but you know I got into it so in the back of this book I did write down my takeaways so I'm gonna read them to y'all um one of my first biggest takeaway is being confident that's one of the things this book teaches you like walk in a room own it don't really care what nobody thinks. Don't shrink yourself to make other people feel comfortable. Don't be a lesser version of yourself to make other people be comfortable. Be confident, be you, and just embrace it. The second thing it talks about is the power of internet marketing, which, ta-da, it's no surprise that I'm doing YouTube and I promote my YouTube channel the way that I do because if you are a social media influencer, if you have an online business, the chapter that talks about internet marketing in this book will really, really help you to think different will help you to see things different so that's one of the things that it helps me with number three it talked about staying consistent hence which is why I've been back like on YouTube way more consistent than I was before because again this book helped me to do that but um number four it's possible to become a millionaire like when you read this book 
it builds that belief in you and it makes you realize that it's really possible to become a, a millionaire. It might take time, but it's possible. And then number five, the, the fifth thing I took away from this book is that I am on the right path. So sometimes you feel like, um, am I going in the right direction? Am I on the right path? You know, am I? And then you read something and it confirms that you are. So I'm going to get into the rest of my book collection here. So this one is called God's Promises. I think my husband bought this book, um, but I haven't read it yet another book this book helped me back when I was like just coming out of college it's called how to win friends and influence people and I really really needed this book at that time because when I was in college I kind of cut out having a social life because I needed to focus on school and graduating early and I need to get back in the zone of like networking connecting with people building relationships and stuff like that so that's what this book helped me with and it's by Dale Carnegie so yeah I like this book it really do teaches you how to be around people how to connect with people when you're talking to them if you're talking to a five-year-old how do you you know win the win a five-year-old as a friend if you're talking to somebody that's 50 years old maybe they're 10 20 years older than you how do you connect with them talk to them and win them as a friend as well so that's this book this other book is called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So this book, oh, let me see. Yeah, this book was also a book that I read um, coming out of college again, because I wanted to continue to expand my mindset, think different. This book is a really good book as well. I don't remember exactly what it talks about, but you know, I would definitely recommend it. This one is called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. And basically what this book talks about is how millionaires think, which I like it. As I told y'all, some books, you got to keep rereading them until you ingrain certain concepts in your mind, until you just develop certain new concepts, new, um, new ways of thinking in your mind. So this book, if you want to learn to think how millionaires um, think, manage their money that way, different things like that, you could definitely read this book. It's a good book to read. This book is called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, another one of my favorite books. The whole concept behind this book, it talks about how small things can turn into big things over time. So for example, if you want to become a millionaire, if you calculate saving a penny a day, for example, or let's say you want to become a millionaire in 10 years, divide 10 years, uh, divide a million dollars by 10 years, break it down and see um, how much money you need to put aside to become that millionaire in 10 years. So that's what this talks about, how your efforts compound over time and turn into something big. And you can apply this to anywhere of your life. It could be business, it could be finance, it could be marriage, it could be any single thing that you want to apply to. So this is also one of my favorite books. It's definitely a classic. Um, this one is called The Power of Broke. I've never read this book. It's by Damon John, but I know my husband said it's definitely a good book. I just haven't had the chance to read it. This one is about living your dreams by Les Brown, another book that I absolutely love. It inspires you to dream, y'all. It does. It inspires y'all to think big. And again, as I told you, if y'all see the titles of the books that I read, that's why I'm inspirational when I speak. That's why I am the way that I am because a lot of these books have influenced my thought pattern, have influenced my concepts and my way of doing things. So, yeah. This one is called God's Alabama. This is my husband's book, if I'm not mistaken, but again, I've never read it. Not too sure what it's about, but if you're interested, the author is Terry Nance. Oh, this one, one of my business partners and supporters, if I'm not mistaken, I know he watches my YouTube channel, so shout outs to him. Um, it's called The Devil Can't Kill Me by Mr. Devin Dobson. If y'all, some of y'all probably know him, some of y'all don't, but yeah, 
um i'm gonna probably try i don't know if y'all want this book though comment below i'll refer y'all to him so that y'all can get it from him but this is also a really good book if i remember um this book is about how he had like three car accidents and how he overcame it um in spite of him having the three car accidents he survived so basically teaching you that you could overcome any single thing that you go through in life as long as you set your mind to overcoming it so yes this book shout out to him he's a supporter i know y'all see him in the comment section of my videos sometimes so shout outs to him and thank you for your support mr dobson more books here this one is called the secret to success this book is by eric thomas um one of my favorite motivational speakers and um he's the one that like also shaped me as well when it comes to like motivation inspiration things like that because my husband introduced me to him and i listened to a lot of like his videos and content and things like that so definitely a good book i haven't read this book but i'm pretty positive that in this book he talks about how he went from being homeless a high school dropout to becoming a successful world renowned motivational speaker now so that's that this book is called Rock Bottom to Rock Star and it's by Ryan Blair. This book, I did read it and it talks about how he hit rock bottom in his life and then from there, like, you know, basically the biggest thing I took away from this book, when you're at the bottom, only place to go up from the bottom only place to go from the bottom is up so if you're at a place in your life right now where you feel like you're at the bottom you feel like you're down the only place for you to go from there is up so think about that that's what this book is about from rock star to rock bottom which is a great book this book is the 10x rule by grant cardone i haven't read it yet but i um I've glanced at some of his videos I've seen him on social media and if I'm not mistaken the concept behind this book is thinking in abundance 10 times and multiply increasing um, duplicating whatever it is that you already have so that's what this book is about this next one is called the entrepreneur roller coaster this one is also a classic and the main thing that I remember this book mainly being about it basically teaches you the highs and lows of entrepreneurship that you will go through and how to get through them it's not specific specific because different entrepreneurs go through different things but the overall point of it is in spite of you going through the highs and lows the, the roller coaster of entrepreneurship you can still make it as an entrepreneur so this book is also by Darren Hardy <laughs> this book is called the weight so it is by devin franklin and megan good um I'm, if i'm not mistaken my mom was the one that got me this book just um when i was getting married so it just teaches you the importance of abstinence celibacy not having sex before marriage so that's the central point of this book this one i haven't read it yet but it is called the nine to five millionaire by jamal king and jamal he works with eric thomas um if i'm not mistaken that's how i learned about him and if i'm not mistaken this book is how he was working um as a police officer and while he was a police officer he had his real estate business booming and building and um he became a millionaire while working a nine to five through real estate if i'm not mistaken so that's what this book is about and then we got what like two more books and it's a wrap okay but this book is called from this day forward my mommy also gave me this book it's inspirational for couples i still haven't read it yet um so i can't really tell you fully what it's about on the back it says the book to have and to hold through all the years of your marriage um i guess i can share with y'all my um book collection on my audible because i told y'all once upon a time i did use to listen to um books as well and um i don't know i got 
I found myself falling in love with reading books now. Um, so I'm going to share with y'all a few books from my Audible collection. Yeah, I'm going to share with y'all some books in here and then to show y'all how I organize. So there's a book called, hold on, another book that I no. So this is another book that I was reading. Um, I learned about it through a book club that I'm a part of. So it's called H3 Leadership by Brad Lomanix. It's called Hungry, I mean called Humble, Hungry, and Hustle. So it basically teaches you the significance of all three areas, how to be humble, how to hustle, and how to stay hungry even when you're hustling. So that's what that book is about. So this one is about being it's called, sorry, Be a Direct Selling Superstar by Mary Christensen. If you are someone that's into selling products in the direct selling product industry, if you're in the network marketing industry, definitely a great book um, I would recommend to read because she talk about what it's like selling products, basically. The things you go through, rejection, how to overcome those rejections, different things like that. Um, and the other book that I read, um, which is a really good book, I've read it more than once. Most of y'all probably know this book, um, but I still want to mention it because it's very, very helpful, I'm a fairly intelligent person. especially if you're in a relationship, if you're in a serious, serious relationship, or even if you're not in a relationship, but you're planning on getting in a relationship is very helpful as a book. So it's called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, and it basically teaches you you could apply it to multiple areas of your life so you could use it um to love yourself you can figure out what your self-love language is and give that and learn to love yourself that way you can figure out what your significant other love language is and learn to love them that way and you can figure out what your family your friends love language is and learn to love them that way so that's what it's about the five love languages um, I think it's like gifts, words of affirmation, quality time, like different things like that. And based on which one your significant other prefer, you prefer, the people around you prefer, you learn to love them that way. And then the most important book that I cannot forget, I almost forgot, but I cannot forget, I have it on my phone, y'all, is the Bible that is like my number one book, if I may say. That's where a lot of my principles come from, a lot of my beliefs come from, like my foundation is built on the Bible. I have the Bible app, y'all, and I do read my Bible just about every single day, if I may say. Um, and yeah, like though that is my book collection in a nutshell um i've come to love reading books it's really valuable and um i'm gonna just tell y'all the benefit of reading reading is like for me from my experience um i feel like as human beings right we have things we have thought patterns we have concept we have principles we have ways of doing things that that's inside of us and sometimes reading what reading does it help combat it helps nourish the good things that we have inside of us and it helps like um how do i say it, it helps like um counter attack the bad things that's inside of us so let's say you have like um okay i'll use myself as an example so if i'm someone that struggled with speaking negatively to myself I could take up a book that teaches you how to speak positive to yourself, how to love yourself. And that book will counter attack the bad, the negativity that's inside of me um, to whereby I'll be able to not continue in that negative pattern, in that negative behavior. So that's the power of reading for me. That's one of the reasons why I've came to fall in love with reading. Um, there was a time I was doing it mainly at night, but now I do it throughout the day. Sometimes I do it at night, but when I was getting into the habit of reading, how I kind of trick myself into doing it and consistently doing it, it's like, let's say you go throughout the day and you eat, eat, eat junk food you eat candy you eat anything you could think of you eat bad stuff that's not healthy for you you gotta drink water you gotta drink some detox tea to flush it out to cleanse out all that bad that's inside of you now right like you go to the bathroom just to pass let the waste pass through you so i feel like when you read books especially personal development books self-help books books that 
um, books that can help you with an area in your life, what it does is it's detoxing you, it's cleansing you, it's removing the bad, the negativity from inside of you. Um, so that's the benefit that I take from reading. You know, let's say maybe you've been doubting yourself saying, you know what? I can't become successful because my father wasn't in my life or I can't become successful because I don't come from a background of money. But then you read a book, um, let's say, let me see, I can't find a book. Oh, right here. Let's say you, that's what you're thinking. But if you pick up Eric Thomas book and you read that, wait, he was homeless at 16 years old. He was a high school dropout. Um, it took him, I think 10 years, he said to get a four year degree or something like that. It took him a really long time to graduate from college. You read his story, you're like, I don't have any excuses. You know what I'm saying? So that's what books do for you. They combat the negativity, the excuses, the doubts, the unbeliefs, and they cultivate the good, the positive, the great things inside of you. So that is the power of reading. If you are not somebody that read, I highly recommend you get into reading and to listen to books and to listen to motivational speech speeches and different things like that because it will really help you. You will see a difference in your life. It will change you and help you to become a better person. So I will say reading contributed to me becoming the person that I am. So I am going to um organizing my bookshelf so that wraps up this video i really hope you guys enjoy it i appreciate every single one of you guys for watching do not forget to like do not forget to comment um and most importantly do not forget to subscribe if you've read any of these books don't forget to comment below um also comment more videos what type of content y'all want to see on my channel so that i could give y'all what y'all want but that is pretty much it i'm gonna show y'all a quick like preview of what's the name so that's the finished part of my book stuff this is my bookshelf this is where all my tech stuff goes so um wires and stuff like that from my camera um that's my gopro this is my selfie stick stand i use that to take like my thumbnails and stuff my battery pack um screen protector from my phone um the tri uh holding tripod for my camera or whatnot bluetooth speaker camera case and again these are like personal documents and stuff like that bills etc um i keep them on the bookshelf because i don't like stuff being like all disorganized and laid out on my table and stuff or having all this paper around the house so i literally have a folder actually with like different things so i have a folder that says medical dental and eyes so anything in that aspect goes there anything related to the car goes in this folder other debts like i have a folder for different things so i keep those organized on here and then as i showed y'all my book collection is here and then down here um music book binder for finances um business folder tax stuff um these are like cards from our wedding and contact lenses basic stuff so that's basically my book stand y'all with stuff it's not the perfect book stand but you know what's on there belongs on there and then also the tv is up here and stuff i keep this in our bedroom it used to be in the office but um i decided to take it out because i feel like it was too much being in the office and put it in here um because as i told y'all for a long time i was reading books before i went to bed so it just made sense for the books to be in here and that is all i have for y'all in this video thank you guys so much for watching thank y'all so much for tuning in i really 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 appreciate you guys so so much to my amazing supporters thank you i love you guys and that's it i will see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great Bye.